I don't want to scare the crocodiles. <laughs> I'm gonna go feed a crocodile right now. Well, this could get interesting. What is up everybody? Chris, as well as the pond guy. Woo! We are here at the Alligator Farm in St. Augustine, Florida for the winter retreat and we are rocking and rolling, full of energy today. Uh, well, you yeah, you definitely are. <laughs> I'm excited because we have a lot of newbies and so a lot of newbies are gonna be with you and a lot of the advanced guys are gonna be over with Ed at the other projects. So we got two projects going on. This is my first time here. What a beautiful place. I talked to John, the director last night. He said this is one of the third oldest zoos in the entire country. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. And we're gonna start them on living the aquascape lifestyle. Well, I love it. Holy cow. So as Greg said, we are here taking over the alligator farm today. I am standing in front of what is going to be the job site for the eight by 11 pond with about a six, seven foot stream on it. This is where the ecosystem pond is going to be installed. This will be a bird enclosure. So we're gonna have waterfalls back up over there, meandering little stream. Maybe we'll include some driftwood elements for them to perch up on, but just sh like shallow pools, slow moving water, that kind of stuff. And then the pond will sit over in here, skimmer over on this side. This is going to be a training exercise for a lot of newbies. So what I love about events like this is, yes, we have the advanced build upon which Ed is leading. Ooh, look at my hair. Woo, the bonds. But um, what I love about this is Ed is of course leading the advanced build, but today we are doing a just a standard eight by 11 ecosystem pond and the simplicity of it, the 20 products and 20 steps. And that's what we're going to achieve. So the whole part of the point of this, yes, is to build an incredible, beautiful enclosure, bird loving stream that's visually amazing. But the more important thing is to educate our customers, the contractors, and some of the people that are actually do it yourselfers on how to efficiently put in a pond and do it profitably. So we want to teach them the right way so that they can avoid all the pitfalls that we learned over the years. So the point of this space back here is to show them the basic math or arithmetic or just a basic level of water features. So I've got some incredible CACs that are also going to be with me. I've got Jay Duke over here, River Crash. Morning, morning. How are you feeling today, huh? <laughs> How are you feeling today? Give me this thing. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a nice chilly morning, but it's going to be a beautiful day for a build a pond day. So, how many people do we have at their first ever build a pond day? Show, Show hands. hands. Yeah, look wow. at that. Awesome. That is terrific. These build a pond days are a hands-on experience. We want to encourage everybody to jump in and get involved and talk, which I don't think is going to be a problem with this group. <laughs> we seem to have a very energetic group, which I'm completely loving. We've got Mr. Chris Hansen that's going to lead this build. I'm just kicking it off and saying hi to everybody and answering any questions. And what I love about Chris, is this is what he does. This is his job out there doing this every single day. So I'm going to let Chris Hansen tell you why he changed it from there and there and a little bit of explanation how the day is going to go. Chris Hansen, everybody. First of all, thank you everybody for being here. Like I said yesterday, under the tent, I'm so excited and I just, I love this. This this really gets me going and this is why I do what I do. Is to I love seeing all the fresh faces. I love seeing people that I know and have deep friendships with. Like Greg said, lean into these guys that have been doing it a while. They are invaluable resources, not just myself or Greg. Please network with these people that have been around the block. They know what the hell they're doing. They're going to help you avoid a lot of the pitfalls. Just don't be afraid to ask. Okay, so it is 9.30 in the morning. We're a little behind, but not because of anything besides talking, but we're doing 20 products, 20 steps. So the pond is marked out, skimmers on one side, biofalls is on the other. We're putting the pipe down, and once the pipe is down, we're gonna start digging the pond out. Great group. 
that right there is a typical filtration system that you will see. There's a swimming pool filter that is filtering. <laughs> There's a swimming pool filter, which you see all the time, that is filtering a pond versus a swimming pool. First digging going on right now. Some young guys here. Let's chip that out. Yes, we've, got, we've got a slab of concrete <laughs> underneath there. Sidewalk. <laughs> We've got Jay and Tim over here kind of explaining some of the next steps. We've got the underlayment in. Now what we're going to do is we are going to get that EPDM liner. So we've got Jackson and Sammy over here. We're going to set that thing in there, get some more underlayment in, and we are going to start rocking this pond. At the same time, we are going to start attaching the skimmer. Underlayment going. Build a pond day. Everybody networking. So there's the pod father, and we've got everybody following over. So what are we going to see, guys? Eat an alligator. What? Break it eaten. Okay. So they said you gotta feed the alligator. Crocodile. So I'm gonna go feed a crocodile right now. So this could get interesting. I am so, I'm so hoarse right now. It's been an incredible couple of days. Yes. And right here is our new feature. Super proud of the guys for creating this. Look at how great that is. Isn't it fun to be leading these things? This is, uh, it, was, it was just an incredible time. Yeah. So many new faces. A lot of new faces, a lot of people finding us on the YouTube vlogs and everything else. So listen, if you guys want to be part of this, go to aquascapeinc.com. We'll put a link down below in this video and you can see what the next opportunity for a hands-on training event is everywhere in the country because we're going to be coming to you. And if not, just check out the Aquascape University. But for me to be able to do this, it's just like the old times. Build a pond as you've been doing this since 1996, and we're gonna keep doing them, maybe in your area, or you just fly and come to whatever area we're in. Good job, Chris. Thanks, buddy. All right. Isn't it insane what a small army of newbies to Aquascape and Aquascape ecosystem ponds can create? A huge shout out and thank you to Tim Wood, Jay Duke, Pete Donahue, Brian Rosen, John Adams, April Dugan, and so many, many, many more people. But also all the new people for coming out and being a part of this. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go check out what Ed is doing and go check out that advanced build. Holy 
Holy cow, we are back. We've got the man, the myth, the legend, of course, Ed the Pond Professor. Fast forward about two weeks since we kind of hard stop yep. out here, yep. right? Yep. Ed's wearing his green shirt for the winter retreat, which signifies that we may have had a group photo, which usually <laughs> is the end of a project. And we're also standing in front of the Gila Monster Shed, and there used to be 35 pounds of stone. 30 pounds here. of stone, and it's been changed over to brick because there's gonna be a patio going in soon because the pond is done. The pond is done? 100% done, and it looks Awesome. <laughs> I can't wait. I have, uh, I have, I've, I've taken a little glimpse of it, but I, we're gonna show you. So Ed, I'm gonna follow you. Let's go, baby. All right. So Ed, everything went smooth, right? Everything went great. And that was because we spent a lot of time in the beginning. You and I have been doing this a long time. We know the benchmarks. We know where we need to be. So we made sure we had to get all those different things completed. The big challenge <laughs> we had, that if you remember, was putting in that under drain. All that groundwater coming in, causing problem, edges collapsing down. We had to manipulate everything to make it work. And it came together because once we got all that infrastructure in place, we were able to focus on the beauty and this is what we got oh my god are you kidding me Fox? i know right it was awesome so we killed it the team that we had out here master cac certified aquascape contractors coming in from around the country coming together working as a team which is what i love because we were able to split up into multiple groups what we did i spent the time in the very beginning laid everything out gave them the background of what you and i did here two weeks ago showed them all of that stuff and then we started tackling everything. We hit the intake bay. We finished up that beautiful little southwestern arroyo, which is going behind that, that cypress stump. We put in those big logs. We got that wetland finished. We did the waterfalls. We did all that detail work. The edging, the plants, the lights, and graded everything, but it's still not 100% finished because there's a massive structure going over the entire top of this, and they are starting on Monday, so there is no time. There's no rest in this. The brick is here. Patio's going in next. Footers are going in place. Place. This is going to be covered. John and Jen are going to start planting this up with that beautiful southwestern look, which is just going to be incredible. I cannot wait to come back here in about a year to check this one out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Eddie, thanks, brother. Go get a cold one. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so that was awesome to get kind of the intro from Ed. If you remember when we last left off, we had about 85, 90% of this rocked, and we had a couple frame rocks in the wetland dry fitted and installed. All we needed to do is beautify it. Over here, we've got the uh, intake bay area. These are those external pumps that we talked about. So we've got an 18,000 gallon per hour pump and a 12,000 gallon per hour pump drawing in 30,000 gallons per hour feeding that amazing looking waterfalls and wetland filter as well as the circulation jets that are along this backside and down at the bottom that we talked about. Remember those steps that we put in? Once that water clears up, you'll be able to see, but this goes down into here, then there, then there, then there, making this very, very approachable and interactive. What I love, and I mean love, is is the shape of the pond. I love these peninsulas. We managed to really capitalize on the square footage that was in here. And we just took over and made an incredible space for John and Jen to relax, get in, but also enjoy. We've got the little seating area over here. There's April. What up, April? April was instrumental in helping myself. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There he is. Come here. What do you think? I love it, man. Well, Sean and I have known each other for eight years now. Yeah. And I got to tell you, he's one of my best homies in the industry. And there's a lot what I know and have done, been able to do in the past and what you guys have seen in our videos for this guy right here. So he is Jason's brother. He is a very valuable member of Earthworks. And without him, this all wouldn't have happened. So he's a fantastic guy. I just wanted you guys to see face with the name that we were talking about earlier in the video. So thanks, bro. Thank you. You did, you did a great job. Thank you, sir. You're the man. All right. So anyways, we've got the intake bay we've got this straight down section that we talked about where we're gonna bring the patio up out over you can see all these big craggy rocks these peninsulas the incredible shape of this pond really making it organic and interactive now that you guys can see where water level actually is in the pond you can see that big cypress log that dives down into the water the way we intended it you've got that large cavity where it's hollowed out great place for carnivorous plants but it just really changes the shape we've got this aquatic plant area behind it with this gravel beach avalanche landslide but guys Guys, girls, everybody alike, look at these waterfalls. Now, if you remember, it was just that rock, that rock, that rock, and that rock. We only set this stuff, and then we dug out the wetland filter, filled it, got all the gravel and substrate in, but we didn't do any of the beautiful stuff on top, and the guys did a fantastic. 
The guys did a fantastic job of pulling it off, creating that vision. I know when we were out here the last time, we had talked about splitting the waterfalls back behind this triangle rock, getting a little kicker over there, big waterfalls, and then just a like a nice raging ripple effect. A lot of white water. This looks incredible, absolutely incredible. I love the change in direction. It just turned out outstanding. The edge work is incredible. Guys, look at all that open water. If you remember the amount of energy and effort it took to get down to that four and a half foot depth was a lot. You can't even see the architectural wall right now because the water's a little murky and that's okay. That will all settle out, but it turned out beautiful. That's the biological filter right up in there, everybody. So that's that wetland filter. So that upper pooling area with that enormous log along the back edge, there's a log here. Just the incorporation of these wood elements is so crucial in helping make this thing look natural and organic. And then of course, you've got the main waterfalls dumping into that upper pool, which is the wetland filter. Everything looks outstanding. I can't wait, as Ed said, for that lanai to get built and really see this thing totally come to fruition. When the patio's in, where I'm standing, the walkway, everything over there, and then the landscape. I know John and Jen are going to take extremely good care of this. I know they have great vision because we've seen what John and Jen have been able to do over at the alligator farm. So they definitely have their work cut out for them, but I know they're up to the challenge. Guys, this is an incredible water feature. It's been an incredible journey. I was so proud proud, happy to be a part of the prep work. I wish I could have been here for this, but on the same token, I was glad to be bringing some new people into the Aquascape lifestyle and helping coach them on how to build, build water features that are gonna bring enjoyment to everybody else's life. Till next time, we'll see you later.